welcome to Home Centers of America. We have a lot more people coming in, but we wanted to get started so we're not running late. Right after opening ceremony, we encourage you to stand up and say hi to your neighbor and ask them where they're from and you know what they're doing. That way you can kind of connect with people on a personal level um, and as well as you know a, a community level. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this beautiful day you've provided for us. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to gather here today to learn, to fellowship, and to grow. We thank you for your divine protection over each and every proceeding that goes on here on this property. Homesteaders of America, Front Royal, Virginia, day one. Um, it's rather chilly, but it's beautiful. We're hoping for really good weather this year. Last year was eh. Um, but this year it looks pretty promising and um, I've already met so many people from um, like our online community and I'm just so excited. Um, I just get really excited about meeting people and connecting with people in person that I've been friends with online for a long time. Um, I've already gotten um, <clears throat> I've already gotten made fun of for wearing flip-flops out here. May collar. Um, but uh, that's how you do it in North Carolina. You wear flip-flops like all year and it's okay. Um, but anyways, we're looking forward to a good day. Um, Adam and the kids are already exploring and they've got some fun stuff planned today. So. <laughs> so we've had a very productive um, first day. I have sold out of a lot of sizes, so I'm a little concerned about tomorrow, but what a blessing it's been. Um, I have not gotten to go around and talk to anybody today. So I'm hoping I might be able to tomorrow, especially if we're running really low on apparel. So anyways, it's been a good day. All right, day two, Homesteaders of America. We are excited about meeting you guys today um, and hopefully selling the rest of our t-shirts. We don't have many left, so that's a good problem to have. Um, so let's get started. I brought some really good help this year. This is my friend Eden. Hello. And she's here to help us um, in our booth. So you might get to see her today. <laughs> you know, to the little uh, you know, lawn tractor. And, um, and then of course the chickens get all scared. They run to one end, break a wing. Then you got gangrene on the wing. Now you gotta throw away the chicken. And uh, chickens get flighty. I mean, our deal is polyface is we can move a 10 by 12 by two foot tall shelter in 60 seconds per move. That means you put the dolly under, you take the feeder out, you move the birds, you take the dolly out, you go to the next one. It looks really manly. Yeah. I've never had one manly man. <laughs> All right, have fun. All right. <laughs> so Adam's gonna take over for a minute so I can actually like step out of my booth. I feel like I'm free. So I'm gonna just walk around and see who I can see. And I need some food. So as soon as the food truck opens, I am over there. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. These feet are tight. They will eat grass if you make them. 
But they kind of want the weedy, the stuff nobody else will see. <laughs> Have a, a little leftover of the antioxidants in it as well. All right. so. Doesn't it also like caffeinated or it'll wake you yeah. up? Yeah. <laughs> because I've been watching it on YouTube and I didn't know how to go about doing it. Yeah, yeah. So. I'm a wellness advocate. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I had an experience that changed my life. Yeah. And you know, I needed a surgery, and it was gonna cost me five thousand dollars. Yeah. And I used essential oils, and didn't have to have that surgery. That's awesome. So I was kind of yeah. like, well, what else can they do? Right. You know? like, <laughs> right. And then I helped a couple people and changed their life. And yeah. I was like, okay, I want to do this. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, that's what that's it takes. Perfect. It just takes like one good experience and then like it's a chain reaction thing. So yeah. Certainly. My dad called me the other day and he said I just wanted to thank you for introducing me to the oils because I feel better than yeah. I ever had. Wow. And I was just like I know. Okay. <laughs> Fuel, you know. Right. Like, that just makes it. such yeah. a difference. Yeah. Yeah. That's Certainly. Awesome. What was your name again? I'm Michelle. Michelle. Uh -huh. Okay. Farm Life Outfitters. Farm is our Life channel. Outfitters. I've heard of it. Okay. I've, I watch all y'all. So. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's big guy. Hey, big fella. Hey, big fella. You gonna lick my camera? Hey, big fella. <laughs> Yes. What's this? Hot chocolate. that if you live in the suburbs or you live in an apartment, you still can't have a legit homestead. But I think a lot of us um, dream of that idea of having milk out in the barn and all the things we can do with it. So there's just something really, really special about home. You're looking at about $1,000 to $3,000 for a single cow. And that depends on age, pedigree. Um, we, I find that the cows that aren't trained are definitely cheaper, but you might have a little bit of a rodeo getting them used to milking. So that can, uh... How good is it, guys? It's really good. Super good. Really good. Really good. Really good. Yeah. You're just like, but there's a yeah. lot of people that but, but the money? like, yeah. I'll do it all. And I'm like, yeah, I get it. Yeah. 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 You're probably kind of high school. Share your advice. Share it. Share it. Like, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. you got to give yourself a break. Yeah. 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 Would y'all travel? Out? Don't have I'm just saying. I know where you're going with this. He's wanting you to come to the shindig. Oh, it's in April, April 4th. I'm doing it. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Yeah, there, was a, there was a pregnant one there last time. Well, that's a little far from my midwife. Yes. Nailed it after leaving this conference. Um, I think for me, it's the only animals and people. Yes. As a counselor, yeah. I really do this podcast. Oh, yeah. and that's a really good question. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's my goal with all this is like, a day away. Day away. Day away. Okay. We're ready to do our first match. And I am Farm Life Outfitters. We have a oh, yes, I saw your booth. Yes. yes. Um, and I follow you on Instagram too, I think. Yes. And I'm actually on your veterinary team. Oh, perfect. I'm on Jess. I'm Jess. Okay, yes. Yes, I know Jess is, is collecting all of the YouTube <laughs> stuff. It's awesome. It is. I'm like, we have this like yeah. YouTube like Homestead or Dime Steel. Yes, totally. <laughs> been your favorite part about this trip? Um, I like 
play on train. Yeah. The goats and the rabbits and the chicks and the alpacas and the goats and the dogs. My daughter and I, she's the, she's the artist, I'm the writer, and so we did this book together a couple of years ago called Patrick's Great Grass Adventure to try to help children, young people, understand um, about grass farming because we hear about corn farmers and orchardists, but often we don't hear much about grass because grass is just what's just out there. It's very valuable. All right, so here we go. Patrick Pigeon noticed some crumbs on the sidewalk and fluttered down to peck them off the hard concrete. His He's sleeping. He was sleeping yeah. in my hand. Just this. <laughs> Alright, we're here with Farm Life Out Outfitters. Can you guys introduce yourselves? I'm Michelle. I'm Adam. And what do you guys do? Well, um, we do farm and country graphic tees mostly. Yeah. And, um, and then we also homeschool and have a farm. We have a website, farmlifeoutfitters.com. We're on Instagram and Facebook, and we have a YouTube channel. That's awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. All right, well, Homesteaders of America 2019 is done. So we are getting ready to pack up and head home. Well, not head home, but uh, almost head home. And um, I'm exhausted. I feel good. You feel good? <laughs> you keep going, huh? Yeah. Um, what was your favorite part? Um, I liked I liked talking to the kids, honestly. Oh, okay. The enthusiasm of the kids and, uh, you know, seeing what, seeing what they learned and, you know, the questions they've asked and all that kind of stuff yeah yeah homestead kids are pretty cool yeah. they um they do ask good questions and they're already like um you know kind of living the life but like they're really intentional about what they're doing because they see, i guess because they see their parents like yeah. really thinking through things and yeah so it's like kind of a ripple effect with yeah they the ask kids. good questions yeah yeah um so they, you know they they have that they still have that wonder and that like they, they understand how things work a lot of times yeah and uh and so i don't know i don't i'm too tired to think about what, <laughs> I, what thought I thought you weren't tired i thought you'd keep going well, i can keep going <laughs> i'm pretty brain dead right now yeah um looks like we still have some shoppers too so yeah let me go take care of them but um we hope you've enjoyed our encounter at um, Homesteaders of America and we hope you'll watch all of our friends videos also. They're going to have some great videos coming out too and the Homesteaders of America channel um, will be great also. So we'll see you here next year. Yeah. Bye. See you later.